Hey guys, welcome to the patio. It's T. Well, we got a lot to talk about tonight. We've hit that 200th episode and moving on down the road. Boy, we are f- flowing like a freight train. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about Bill Belichick at 72 years old. You're probably going to be jealous. You're either going to be jealous or sickened by what this guy's up to. We've got um, new evidence about spacecraft that crashed in 1947. Down in Florida, they're doing some plastic surgery. There's new evidence. Yes, new evidence. Just showed up today. Uh, There's a plastic surgeon down in Florida. We're going to take a look at his handiwork, and I think you're going to be offended. But first of all. Foremost, Father Fortenberry, how goes it? It goes, man. Uh, Father Fortenberry here. I am uh, barely made it in. I got cut up today at work, but uh, I, I, you know what? It was a good day, though. I survived. At least you didn't get cut from work, you know? <laughs> but, um, well, Marty, you got to do better now, Marty. Marty. You got to do better. Yeah, hit that button. Yeah, no. but T Dub. Uh, no, Gary. Sorry. Oh, Gary. I'm here. I'm here. I'm feeling good. I'm very, very appreciative of being here today. And you know what? I'm appreciative of you, T. You are the host with the most. And I'll tell you that right now. Hey, you can put me up for an award, I think. You know what? I, I should nominate an award right here. I should probably be nominated to lead the, um, like, the Grammys or the uh, Oscars. Yeah. Or the Emmys. The, the, the or Soul the Award. SBs. I would love to do the Soul Award. <laughs> me too. Is, it, is that what it is? Soul? Yeah. There's, I think there probably yeah. is a Soul Award. Yeah. Marty Marr, a.k.a. the Bourbon Nerd. What's up, y'all? Bourbon Nerd here. I just want to show y'all my Father's Day gift. I got samples up in this thing, and you can take them on an airplane. He'd be sampling. I'm rhyming, too. He'd be sampling. That's a beautiful thing. You see me that sampling. That would be the aged, for my friends over at Aged and Ore. Friends Aged and Ore. That is cool. Where'd you get that at? Father's Day, clearly. But uh, I heard Orr. the story. Aged <laughs> and Ore. Oh, oh. Our friends at Aged and Ore. Yeah, our friends. Our, our friends. We got a lot I of thought friends. he said it's Aged and Ore or something else. Mm. Aged and or I'll put the link down in the it's just not, yeah I, I now like. just figured out how to put links in our YouTube it's slow easy I felt dumb uh and let me bring this guy up AW how are you this fine evening I'm doing pretty good I know a few guys that dealt with Agent Orange back in the day Agent <laughs> Orange good luck with that Marty that's yeah, Marty cool, man. I, I love those little um those little bottles that they have those are awesome pretty cool Mm. Look at that guy's transition. I just did. Holy Excellent. smokes. That was like <laughs> three. I, I, did three damn I had to hit three damn buttons at once <laughs> just to make that Rusty Lugdust is going to think we are professionals when he saw that. <laughs> it We're transitioning like out. liberals in America. It, it, it depends on how many times mm-hmm. Fortenberry passes out and we stick him with a ruler. But shout out to Professor Rusty. He was one of the first to ever invite us on. We still haven't gone on a show yeah. yet, but I promise you we'll be on before long. I guess. Uh, okay, look, Bill Belichick. I don't know if you guys heard or not. People are up in arms about this guy. You know, he was the ex Patriot. Actually, forgot that he was no longer the Patriots, uh, the football coach. Yeah. But he has got caught canoodling with a twenty-four-year-old uh, ex cheerleader. Are you sure he wasn't canoodling, or he is canoodling? Did he get canoodling. her pregnant? And you know what I know? The funniest part about it, uh, it he was caught by Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> the goat will get you. Is he canoodling or is he big pimping? No, apparently his home, Tom Brady's got a home near his and on his ring camera, he sees uh, Bill Belichick making the walk walk of shame, which I don't know. She's kind of cute. I'd probably not consider that a shameful thing. I don't think that's a walk of shame. I've seen her. Here she Damn, is. Does he have a telescope on his ring camera? Look, there she is, guys. Look, oh, let me, let me oh. move uh, DW out of the way for Move me. DW. Um, there she is. She's. Tom may have been leaving and Belichick was coming. Now, see, that, <laughs> uh, that probably explains you. But, but the internet's up in arms, claim it, because he apparently met her a few years ago on an airplane. Well, a few years ago, she was in, she was 21. When oh, she was six. And so, they only just struck up a, they believe they struck up a relationship. So they say the rule of thumb is half your age plus seven. Not even close. I'm not <laughs> even close. What? <laughs> they said that's the rule of thumb. Half your age so plus seven. So 43 is ought to be the lowest he can go. He can't, yes. he can't even do a quarter of his age. That's just 
Jeez. What's society? That's just the rule of thumb. You do you follow no rule society sets for you. So for me, it'd be what uh, twelve. <laughs> <laughs> twenty one and a half. That'd be twenty eight. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Damn. That's so acceptable. That. Well, if you came in with a twenty eight year old, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, Charlie I, probably wouldn't like it. No, no. That, <laughs> neither no. of the Charlie Ford marriage would probably like it. we got to tell that story at some point. Yeah. We will now, next. You think this girl is trying to get Bill to put a baby in her? Probably. Think about the money. I mean, think about this. I, I'm just thinking about him to have a baby in her. Maybe my stomach turns a little bit. <laughs> probably make hers turn, too. I wonder if his facial expression <laughs> ever changed during the whole time. No, he was yeah. probably like, not. He's just like this. He had his hoodie on the whole time, too. <laughs> right. I'm not taking off the hoodie. He probably had the headset on. Well, dude, what I am certain of, he caught Tom Brady said if he could still play up yeah. him. But <laughs> apparently the goat, the goat button hooked him, you know, and told everybody, caught him. Uh, yeah, look, that, that's a big age difference. Uh, uh, actually, he didn't even wear a shirt when he was caught. Really, here, I'll yeah, pull up that picture real oh, quick. I'll check didn't wear Let a hoodie. Remove Donnie off screen again. Remove Donnie. Yeah. With, let, look at a shirtless. There it is. Oh, There's my. a shirtless Bill Belichick. What was he do? Was he... I guess he like ran over to Tom Brady's ring cam and uh, and did what? Just like said thumbs up. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe he was looking for support. Was he looking for? A, he looking uh, for a wingman. Uh, hey, he, he ran over there. He hit his ring cam. He said, "Hey, Tom, I just deflated my balls." <laughs> Are you? I ran away. Yeah. Uh, good one. Okay. Good one. Definitely a possibility. That's a new deflate gate, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I guarantee you that probably ain't the first twenty-something-year-old Bill Belichick been with. Oh, no doubt. Like in his older years. I was gonna say when he's twenty, it was fine. <laughs> New compelling evidence found at Roswell UFO site would prove alien craft crashed in 1947. Do we still believe that there's that it didn't happen? It happened. It happened. Dude. Something happened. Something happened. What Something new thing out did of they this find? World. Um, I don't. I haven't seen that yet. It just said new. No. <laughs> Debris from a There's an alien. Dip. There's an alien laying out there. Okay. <laughs> let, let me show it to you. Uh, here it is. Um, moved it. That's the devil. That's not alien. Yeah, I'm moving it. Well, if you pop um, up a picture of a mask, well, I will. <laughs> this is evidence. That's a bottle, a piece of paper. That's metal, baby. Look, what metal? What kind of metal is and that? And th- does this guy not make you think he's actually found alien spacecraft now? Oh, it's, there's 12 pictures in this gallery. Oh, there's more pictures. Oh, look at that guy. He look looks kind of like an alien. Look at this metal. That looks Eight like a millimeter. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Oh, my God. There it is. There it is. There it is. Right that's, before that's it crashed. That's proof. Looks like a bedpan. And he got a five by eight millimeter piece. <laughs> that's all that was left. It <laughs> like two. <laughs> Aliens exist. Do you guys think aliens exist? Yeah. I don't like they're over here visiting, but I think they exist. Like Marty said, that guy to. had a take five us. by eight millimeter piece, and they decided that it looked like that big UFO yeah. <laughs> when it was full. Like, well, that's, like, that's how they decide what dinosaurs look like. I was about to say dinosaurs. I mean, that, that, could dinosaurs a piece of, leg, yeah. these... that could be a piece of the new cyber truck. They've been around that long. But, <laughs> I mean, we can say anything. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you think they're here to take us over? Uh, do you think? I think if anything, Listen, they're here to observe. If you could travel light years away, we're just, the least here. Is, is this what you want to do? Do you want to come watch us? Maybe. Actually, yeah. Really? We all do it every day. We're people watchers. Yeah. Don't tell me that you don't like to watch ignorant people doing ignorant things. That's you fine. are on TikTok more than anybody I know. Maybe not today, but historically. And it's normally watching stupid people do stupid things. Maybe a, it's like fantasy football, but they play with us. Maybe it's they play like fantasy football, maybe, but in real life. Maybe they treat the Amer—I don't say Americans, but Earthlings mm-hmm. as TikTok. They sending them home to the family, be like, "Look what these dumbasses did today." It better be a herd up. Look around this room. Every alien I ever seen was little. Could be. <laughs> no, the last ones were like. Look at Martin. Remember and Martin. The, all right, no, but these one moved. One landed in Miami, right? Y'all, we talked about Martin Marsh is people of color too, boys. Marvin Marsh. Yeah, he was black. green, wasn't he? He was black. green, wasn't he? I think he was black. Oh, I thought he was black. He had a green hat. He was green. Now, what's the little dude from? Uh, no, no, he had no face. 
You're talking about the one like from said, Bo- Looney Tunes. Yeah, what's Looney Tunes? No, we're talking about Marvin the Martian. Marvin the Martian. Yeah, let's look at a picture. He Marvin. had hat. He only he had, had eyes. Had a mohawk or something. No, that was his hat, his helmet, oh, uh, his helmet. space helmet. He just had eyes. He was still a little fella. I think. Pull up Marvin the Martian. He he was black. Oh, he wasn't black. He, he we just couldn't see his face. It was covered. Oh, maybe it was black. No, he was. No, it was just not there. He didn't have a face. See, he just didn't have a face. He had big got a face. He didn't have a face. He just had eyes. That's because he was Martian. There he he is. He's up on the stage. There's Marvin the Martian. See, he had a green hat. <laughs> you just said what, what, what color is his hat? I said I did. I said it was a helmet thing. But he was black. I don't know. I think it was right, just he's, a, he's absolutely black. His face is the only thing you can't see. He's got <laughs> he it covered everywhere. Yes, he he just looks like he's wearing black face. He's so dark. He I mean, is hidden. That's just he doesn't have a face. It doesn't mean he's black. It means he don't have one. Yes, he got eyes. He got eyes. He just got eyes. They Did he around. talk? I don't remember if he talked. Yeah, him. he does. He talks. He's Kevin Hart. What's, he What's he say? You remember he's like a he has like a he's almost a, like a British accent or something goofy. Right, like since we since we went from talking about he real aliens mean, to bull crap aliens yeah. to Marty here bullshit aliens. <laughs> what what's a fictional character would you want to be? Who would it be if you could be a fictional character? Who would it be? Any of them? A fictional character. Any fictional character. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't want to be any of them. Oh, no, I'm thinking, man. That's, that's you normally you're like quick right there. Papa Smurf, he was a pimp. <laughs> but there, there are no girls but one, and that was like <laughs> a bunch of dudes. So look, that means he was like a sex trafficker. <laughs> so Papa Smurf was a sex trafficker because they had no females. Hey, in Smurfs, there really was only one girl, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah there was. I, for, I forgot about I'm that. Not sure, I'm hearing you... Gary in his mic. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't just a minute ago. I don't if you, know. If you, look up like up, if you look up on Urban Dictionary, Smurfs are listed as a communist. <laughs> are they real? <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, it's a socialist society. Yes, yes. I, I might have to shut up because I keep getting yeah. on something else. <laughs> yeah, so, no, uh, you followed the suit. You just want to be a little damn communist that has yeah, a bunch yeah. of little dude, blue dudes hanging around. Yeah, little, That's fine. Little, blue, know, dude, little blue dude. Gary, can you think of anything worse to be than Papa Smurf? Not worse, no. Um, yeah, I'm with you. That's like I was man, that's terrible, <laughs> Marty. Like I would never want to be a Smurf, man. That's well, like, like a, super terrible. Quick, uh, quick Google on the Google machine. Uh, apparently, the little girl Smurf was made by Gargamel. That's right. Yeah, was. I knew that. Yeah. You didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I did. I mm-hmm. did. Gargamel. So not only was uh, so Marty's into some creepy stuff over here, but <laughs> Marty wants to be in a hand, okay. like some handmade so, women so, in a so, social society. Hold on, hold on. So is she the first trans character on TV? Because I think they changed her from one thing to another. I thought she was just made. Like from, <laughs> like from Sugar and Spice. Like from a rib? No, probably like a blue Sharpie. Something like that. Yeah, so I'm Gary completely Poppins. lost, me. Gary, Gary Poppins, what is the mythical character you'd like so, to be? I, I feel like we need some ground rules here. What what genre are we saying? Just any, any, jo- any fictional character. You can be t- Tuck Finn if you want to. Tuck Finn? Is Tuck that, Finn. I'm not sure who Tuck Finn is. But uh, I figured you'd seen that movie before. That, that's a wild bill off of... Um, is this Pecos Bill? No, he's a tuck, uh, old Tuck Bill. Oh, okay. I, 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 mean, I, go, I go with Superman. I mean, he's pretty awesome. At what? Everything. Everything. His disguise was terrible. Just, I, I didn't say just he, was he was real. I mean, he's, he's, he's not a chameleon. Back. No, he's not. He can't. Unless he has glasses on. It. Somebody just right, let's go this way. Let's go. No superhero. Any fictional character okay. except super. And Papa Smurf did that perfectly because he was neither super nor hero. Oh, fiction. There? Non-superheroes. Non-superhero. Non-superhero. Do you know who would be cool to be? Okay. okay. Tywin Lannister, the little imp from... Uh, he, he kind of had right. a bad time. I right, I got had one. Found a loophole. Well, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> you did buy that. Corp <laughs> you, you did Bruce, buy Bruce Wayne is not a superhero. He's just super rich. Hey, you could argue Batman's not a superhero. That's, I think I'm going to be John Wick. Yeah. Yeah. Cool he's a vigilante. He's not a superhero. Bruce, Bruce Wayne. There you go. Right, I'm going to go Harry Potter. Ooh, I like that one. He's rich. He gets a little redhead at the end. Hell. Huh? He was poor, though, early. Well, yeah, but he got, he had a bunch of money when he became a, a wizard. Hey, I'm going to be Voldemort. I'm going to be Voldemort. I can fight Jack. He's one of the Weasley kids. <laughs> Baltimore. 
Baltimore. That's right. He did. Lord Baltimore. No, Baltimore. 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 I'm going to go from a pointy nose to no nose. We're going to see Lord Baltimore get get the airplane. We're we're going to fly (laughs) fly to Maryland. Yeah, I tell you what, of all y'all's weak ass characters, y'all'd want to hang out with me. Tywin Lannister would be a damn good time. What are you talking about, man? I'm rich, too. I'm rich. I got a little scar. Yeah, but nobody scar. likes Six Harry stars, Nobody dude. liked Harry Potter. I like There's Harry nobody in, People in those movies didn't like him. Nobody around him liked him. He was the least liked dude there, and everybody felt sorry for Harry. Yeah, he was least liked. Everybody hated him. Jamie, I'm going to hold him more. I'm going to cast a spell on you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, you're more. Levitoso. Is it Levin? You're, you're more. You'd be more likely to be in that Slytherin tribe with that other dude. What was his name? Uh, what about Scrooge McDuck? He was super rich too. <laughs> Nobody liked him either. Yeah, but somehow he could dive in money and it wouldn't break. It wouldn't That's pretty damn sweet. It, it, was. it wouldn't like, even mess him up. It's not a go to just like come out spitting money. That, I come out spitting teeth. That's a hell of a <laughs> superpower. You know, I think meth was involved because meth makes you do something. <laughs> right. it gives what, you about, uh, what about Howard? Howard the Duck. That was well, Howard, Howard, the Duck. Duck. Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. He Remember was Howard in. Why well, he has him out in his uh, at, at the bar? Don't Did you know he was in Star Wars? Or the Duck? Hey, they're was, gonna make a Howard was, the Duck movie. Yeah, he was, he was one of the alien species or whatever when they had the Republic or whatever doing votes, whatever you could see Howard the Ducks. Yeah, he's alien, but he's a duck. So. Oh, what's your favorite fictional fictional duck? Mm-hmm. Mine's Darkwing. D W. I was about to, to say. There aren't any, but there's way more than there should be. <laughs> yeah. Daffy, uh, Donald, yeah. Scrooge, oh, Huey, Dewey, Dewey, and Louie. That's my, yeah, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. You be all three of them? No, you didn't say I want to be. Who's your <laughs> oh, he, oh, yeah. Not Howard. Oh, you, E.T. E.T.'s in Star Wars. My bad. E.T.'s a duck. No, E.T. was <laughs> Why are you off in the weeds? We're now focused on fictional <laughs> Your duck. favorite fictional duck. I was Damn. Yeah, you, Howard. This side of the room over here, y'all like out of control. J- Marty's gonna say the Smurf duck. No, I'm gonna say uh, <laughs> the, duck, the duck and duck Papa hunt. Duck. The duck and duck hunt's his favorite duck. That's pretty good though. What was his name? The dog. He didn't have duck. Name, dude. Duck. 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 Okay, that's good. So Gary, what's your favorite fictional duck? ET does not count. I gotta keep that on point. Fictional duck. Yeah. Oh jeez. This white boy. Ooh, uh, uh, I know. I'm telling you. I was. Pluck, Plucky was pretty good. You remember Plucky from Tiny Toons Adventures? Oh, yeah, that was, that was Daffy's Plucky. Donald's son. I don't know. Nephew. But Plucky. Plucky I feel from like I made that shit up. Look it up. Plucky the Duck. From some from Tiny Toon Adventures. He was on Titanic. Tiny Toon Adventures. Yeah, Plucky and when he get mad, he's like, Pluck this. I don't think he said that. But <laughs> Plucky. Oh, Plucky's pretty good. <laughs> Plucky Duck. He's a little green duck. Yep. Plucky the you duck. You know what? I think he is, this may be the same. This dude may have been the Martian with blackface. <laughs> <laughs> They're about the same size. They walk a lot. I'm telling you, that's something about that. It was in disguise. Yeah, Plucky the Duck. So plastic surgery. Okay, that's a big thing right now, right? You can go get your nose fixed, get your boobs done, you can get your tummy tucked. What, what would y'all want? What kind of plastic, plastic surgery y'all want? I'm getting ass implants. I'm just saying, I'm right out the gate, you go. I would probably, and hopefully a little bit later, I'll have some skin removed or something. But <laughs> other than that, I'll have some skin added. <laughs> you know, and skin to me. Like, we'll see if this dude right here would probably take my belly and put it on your butt. Get a, get a, Y'all go in at the same day. <laughs> get the you can, skin and everything. You can like a but, but I think I would hope you could figure out with a fake plastic surgery. You know, we all listened, I think, Dr. Death a few years back. Yes. I was yes. listening to the latest season of that. It is amazing how far doctors can get that really cannot do anything. And people, they, they just keep working on people, and there's nothing about it. Let's see. I think there's some photographs here. I mean, we'll I can share. get my prostate checked at his uh, bathroom stall. All right, done. I'm about to put you back. He did Brazilian butt lifts with fat transfer. That's what we're talking about. That's exactly Maybe I should it. leave this here. Hey, Jamie, you, can, you can get your belly put in your butt. Tummy tuck. Oh, yeah, what I need to Terry, I get my own belly. Breast augmentations. <laughs> yeah, your fat will probably accept it better. Than your own fat. You'll That's be right. looking good, man. You'll be flat, flat stomach with a big old booty. Mm-hmm. You'll look like Gary in high school. Hey, yeah, here's a, check this out. Court records reveal that 90% of his procedures were done when the doctor was not even there. 
<laughs> How How do we have, have to do it? it? Aliens. Uh, robot. Look, I mean, p- part of being a good uh, uh, leader is, is, you know, <laughs> spread that work. You know, you got to be able to rely on your team. Maybe mm-hmm. it's Papa Smurf did it. Papa Smurf. I don't think that counts for plastic surgery. <laughs> All right, so if you if you, there's, I'm a, we're going to talk about jobs now for a minute. There's 15 high paying jobs that they cannot find any people to do. Let's take a look at them and see what they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, first is electrician. Hold on, that, that's just not. Hey, that's not false, I that. see a thousand electricians every time we go to a job. Yeah, there's, there's, not, yeah, there's not, not enough, enough electricians. Yeah, huh. they need like. 3,000 at Blue Oval City, just to keep that place going. Uh, what's next on the list here? Uh, plumber. A lot of, okay, a lot these of are not tra- difficult. Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of these are the trades. These are I mean, trades. Yeah. That people aren't getting into, and there's people making six figures doing trades. HVAC technician, truck driver. Yeah, these are all normal trades. Mortician. Serial killer, yeah. truck driver. I don't understand that. I don't yeah, you kind of got to... Don't you think it just becomes like normal day to day after a while? Dental hygienist, coal miner. I can see that one. Well, I can see that because the job's going to go away. I mean, are you going to get buried? Or you going to get buried? Or you get black alone. Yep. Yeah. Or you, or you come out looking like a Marvin Marsh. Do they take down with them or they actually have oxygen? I think they probably have machines that do that now. (laughs) The little birds. They die, you gotta go up. Gary, I would love to put a camera on you. <laughs> let you take a job in a coal mine and your first day you raise your hand and say, When do I get my little bird to go down? Gary would have liked the scene from uh Zoolander where he's uh, <laughs> where he's in the coal mine. Yes. Oh, here's one. Proctologist. That's that's shit, dude. You, gotta go to, you gotta go to school a long time to look at buttholes. You know, I mean, it's, it's got to be hard to stay motivated for that. Not all buttholes are the same, guys. Underwater welder. Oh, that's that's. They got a job. school in San Antonio. Yeah, that, that's a hard job. That's a difficult job. Oil rig worker. See, now we're getting into that's stuff. a tough job. So, so what what we're getting at is jobs that require physical labor. Being away from home. Being away from home. Truck driver. Oil rig it's worker. men's jobs. It's not women's jobs. <gasps> I think it's the sexist. The, the sexiest. Sexiest? Or sexiest. That's almost as sexist as Papa Smurf with the. Yeah, there are very few women that are going to be capable of going and being a roughneck on a old, like an old barge or something. But what's well, going to be sexy, though? That's hard. But, but when we talk about they want equal rights, they ain't talking about that kind of equal rights. Garbage <laughs> collector. They ain't talking about they want to save them out of doctors and lawyers. Well, I mean, none Dark, of us can do job right now. So what was next on the list? Did we go through them all? Yeah, we did. We oh, went through all of those. Oil, oil Roughnecker was the last one. Roughnecker. So those are, Prox- those are they're difficult, one to that, but it wouldn't hot, labor-intensive job. I, I'm waiting for someone. You know that one job that the guy goes and changes that light bulb on the, the towers? Mm, yeah. I, I thought that would be on there. Do you know that you ever videos of that, that shit? I couldn't. Do so have you, ever, have you ever seen the, vi- the steel picture called The Last Embrace? No, there oh, is a, the dudes, they're on the wind wind turbine. Yeah, there are. There's two guys on wind turbine, and uh, the turbine's on fire. It's me and Jamie on the top of wind turbine. Yeah, and there's, a, there's a still picture of them. They're just hugging because I mean that's it. Well, they jump off and together. Right? Yep, I think, I think it's called Last Embrace. It's a, it's a really moving picture. I had a friend that worked on those things. And so that what they do, so those those arms are huge, several hundred feet long. Yeah, they're massive. So they climb up there, and when you're working on the generator, motor, or whatever, you have to apply the brake. And when you apply the brake, that whole tower will move about ten or fifteen feet to one side up. because of yeah. inertia. No, and he's like, oh, it's the strangest feeling ever because you just notice things about the break off. I can imagine the amount of oil that are in those. <laughs> Those wind turbines. Oh, They're like, oh, 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 just, oh, yeah. just, uh, oh, here it is right here. I think they hug and step off because they're like burning. Oh, they're about to be burning. I mean, uh, yeah, let me, let me pull it up. I can show yeah, you. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. It. Yeah. Cause that's, I just Googled, uh, I don't do heights. I, I don't like, I don't even like being on the house. <laughs> this ain't going to do it for you then. <laughs> this is like being on a plane without a plane nearby. 
Man, ten years ago, I climbed to the top. I googled uh, two wind minutes of it on wind turbine. <laughs> no, I didn't like no heights at all. That looks like yeah. an engagement photo. I remember that time we we voted Jamie to go on top of your roof when when you're. Oh yeah. <laughs> When we're off this house, there it is. There yeah. they are, right there. There you can see it burning. They're on the wrong side. If you shimmy down that bottom one, you yeah, get you can follow to the follow. You know, maybe only a thousand feet in. Yeah. So, so why don't these? I know they have. So we're talking about, you know, them climbing up to these turbines, and also with like people changing the uh, tower lights or whatever. Why don't they have to be required to have like a? Um, like a parachute, something like that. Like hey, so, so I that, think after this, they actually a lot of those guys do wear shoots now and have like certs that jump off. Yeah. So they're basically like free, like free base jumpers. Why would you yeah. not have that? Look, I'd have to be free base to go up there. <laughs> have to be <laughs> free base. Yeah, I'd have to be free base in the Did they die? thing. Hmm. I, yes, yes, they die. Well, because you wonder, because that's metal. Will that really burn all the way out to where they're standing? Makes me wonder. Even if it doesn't, probably that metal could probably get real hot. Hey, Jamie, if that was me and you up there, would you at least let me okay, count you off of it? Wow. They so, got that hot, it melted the metal. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, yeah, it, neither of them survived. Mm. That's sad. I mean, it's like 9-11. I mean, well, y'all you... sucked the air out of them. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Can't make jokes about that. We talk that. about Father Fort Barrett. Not Father, no. Papa Smurf, Father Smurf, <laughs> and Papa Smurf, somewhere. <laughs> they, they have similar lineage. Yes, Father Smurf has, has a bunch of little kids running around too. Yeah, but I mean, you know, that's uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. That happens a lot. Bad it job. Does. It's a bad that's job. A, it's a bad job. That's a but, oh, about, so you talking about having shoots? Yeah. So when we did Bass uh, Bass Pro Shop at the Pyramid in Memphis, they bring in this thing called the um, Abilene Lift. There's only two of them in North America. They'll go 315 feet high. Mm-hmm. And you had to get in that to reach the top of the pyramid. Well, to before you're allowed to go in it, you have to go in and repel out of it because that's the only way to get you out if a machine breaks. Oh, so like it gets stuck. You gotta yeah, go. because there's there's nothing that can get you out. We can't have Donnie do it. Well, that'd be easy. <laughs> yeah, Donnie can't repel out. No, I, I wouldn't get no, out. I, I can't. So, I just get down really fast, but... <laughs> So the pyramid ain't getting finished. The repel system in this is a automated one. So what you do is you put your feet on the edge and you just flip out. <laughs> Not like ah! <laughs> you, you flip backwards and when your body hits, it slowly uh, lowers you. That's what they told me too. <laughs> so we're out there in the parking lot watching guys repel out of this thing, and all you hear is screaming all the way down. <laughs> For the oh, first time, man. the first time they used it, and the platform is about the size of this room. It's a massive platform. The first time they used it, the hydraulics gave way, and the whole basket dumped everybody out. Damn! They didn't have to repay. <laughs> All I know is everybody below me would have been brown. They didn't have the. Uh, <laughs> they didn't have that turn off the gravity switch on the side of. The I guess not. <laughs> okay. I would have shat on everybody below me. All right, let me lay out. <laughs> let me lay out this for I you. Can't, okay. I, let me lay out this for you. Lay it out. One of the great, arguably one of the best years, especially if you're in the NFL, you could experience. You win the Super Bowl, right? You're, uh, you start dating Taylor Swift. You're the talk of all the Taylories or Swifties or whatever they call them people. Super Bowl champions. You're everywhere flying all over the place, going to Eros concerts, eras, whatever they call it. Uh, what? Stuff. I don't know what that is. That's Taylor's concert. Eras, Eras, Eras. I didn't know either. And God. then you get your ring, only to find out if Travis Kelsey got his ring, the uh, championship ring. Find out there's a typo on it. <laughs> Did they put? Oh, uh, Miss Swift. They call him Mr. Swift. Travis, Travis, Swift. Travis Swift. <laughs> Look, he's a responding crazy. He said, "I don't give a shit." <laughs> so he don't care. I mean, well, if that's do. the worst thing that happens to you in the year, then you're doing all right. I mean, I heard he's got a podcast that's almost as good as ours, but look, look. It's almost. It's, it's not. I it's heard it's all yeah. I mean, all, all of us are kind of built like his brother, so I mean, yeah. we, got that, we got that going for us. Yeah, we definitely align more with Jason Kelsey and Travis Kelsey. Oh, for yeah. sure. Maybe Gary. 
Gary has that Travis Kelsey look that, about her. I got that twinkle in my eye. Ain't Travis. You got that twink. I married someone's fairly close looking to to Taylor Swift as well. Yes, you did, Gary. Yeah. Yes. My wife looks that, just like you Taylor definitely Swift. married up. Well, I, I'm, I'm almost She's certain that everybody thrifty. in this room married up. No doubt. No doubt in my mind. No diggity. Let's hit the out button, Marty. All right, parting words. Uh, Jamie. Hold on, let me get John. Get out of my way, John. Go. Go. Words. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hey, you know what? We're uh, we're almost to five thousand viewers or five thousand followers. Just keep it up. Yeah, we're not far from it. That's for sure. Get your part more. And keep watching us, Marty. Marty, y'all come back now. You hear? We're done yet. Cause somebody done took mama out lost. I don't have any more I'm living in the club. Somebody, hey everybody, thanks for listening. Goodbye.